Welcome back, welcome back. back. Tonight you're rolling with the fam. fam. And tonight we're gonna make some good old Philly cheese pork. Egg rolls. Pork egg rolls. Yeah. So if you like the Philly cheese egg rolls, these pork egg rolls gonna taste just as good. And to make them, you're gonna need a few ingredients. Um, jalapenos. No, those are peppers. Peppers and um, uh, onion. And cheese. Yep, this is some and cheese. Hold on. This is just some cheese. Some mozzarella. Daddy put it in the vacuum seal pack to make it, you know, last a little longer. Okay. And then we got egg rolls. Yep, you need the egg roll wrapper. We roll them up. And we don't really got Hold on. sour cream. No, we don't need that. And then the start of the show, this is some pork. I just took this out the freezer. Throw it under some cold water, and this is it. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Hit that like button because you're gonna love this one. All right, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Let's go. And we're gonna go ahead and start on the most tedious part of this dish, which is going to go ahead and cut up the pork. Now, y'all see how thick these pork chops are? When we first bought these, I was gonna, you know, make something where we can stuff it, make something for Sunday dinner, but. I also bought these egg wrappers recently and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get them. And then when, you know, we think of something to make with them, we're going to go ahead and do it. So when I took these out the freezer, I was like, let me go ahead and cook these up. And I was like, you know what, I think some good old Philly cheese egg rolls would be good with some pork. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So let's go ahead and just slice these up. And y'all know it's pork, so it's not hard at all to cut up. Just go ahead and slice it up just like this. Bam. And then from there, just slice it into cubes. It don't have to be too small. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the big knife. That way we can get it sliced a little bit faster. All right. There we go. And y'all see what we're doing. Not doing nothing too special. Just cutting it up into little chunky pieces. Because once we start cooking it, it's going to cook down. So you don't want to make them too small. Because you still want to be able to see it once the egg roll down. So I'm going to go ahead and get this whole bow chopped up. And we'll be back. All right, you guys, so I got all of the pork chopped up. That was a little workout. I did end up saving about two of them. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just keep these, stuff these like I intended to do. And then this was the fat that I cut off. So like all of this part right here, I just cut that off so it won't be too greasy in the egg roll mix. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this cutting board cleaned up and then we're gonna go ahead and start on the peppers and the onions. All right, so we're gonna use an assortment of all of these different colors. I'm gonna go ahead and get them rinsed off. Um, did you already rinse off the onions? No, not sure. So for these, we want to chop everything up into like dice size pieces yeah. to match the size of our um, pork. So then you're just gonna slice it right down the middle. Make sure you take these little pieces out because those are gonna be spicy. If you wanna leave them in, you can leave them in, but we don't need that today. Slice it down the middle. Slice it just like that. And if you want to slice it one more time, there you go. So just keep doing that until we get all of them cut up. And remember, don't touch your eyes when y'all cutting these peppers up. We done told y'all that numerous of times. Especially if you just starting out cooking because your eyes will be burning for days, okay? Do not do that. All right. So y'all get the point. We're going to go ahead and get them all cut up, okay? So we getting somewhere. It feels good to go ahead and get everything chopped up, prepped, and ready to go. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and get these peppers cooked up because you don't want to just put the meat in there and the peppers in there 
all at one time because you want to get a nice sear, a nice caramelization on it. Y'all know how we do. So go ahead and get your pan. Go ahead and turn it on. Get it nice and warmed up. We need some oil in here, just a little bit. Go ahead and get these vegetables nice and seared up. You don't need a lot, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Y'all see that? Go ahead and add these right on in there. Now I'm going to put these on high because you want to get a nice caramelization on them. I am going to add just a little bit of salt to them. Go ahead and draw some of that water out of it. Go ahead and help the caramelization process a little bit more faster. And we're going to do most of the seasoning once we go ahead and cook the pork and then add all this together. So don't go nowhere, y'all. We is nowhere near done, but we halfway done, if you know what I mean. All right. Okay, so this is exactly what you want your peppers to look like. You see how they got nice and caramelized? So I started them out on high. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then once we take them out, which we about to do now, we gonna go ahead and put them in a strainer because you do not want these egg rolls to be oily, the sauce. Cause we still gotta put that cheese in there. So that's not what you want. So let's go ahead and get the peppers on here. Now in this same grease that we just cooked the peppers in, we're gonna go ahead and add the pork. Now this is a lot of pork, but we're gonna make, you know, enough egg rolls. So if you want one or two, or want some seconds, you're gonna have it. Now you gotta put this meat on high because it's gonna generate a lot of liquid. And you won't want none of this liquid in the egg rolls, okay? So this gonna take a little second to get done. So just be patient, keep stirring it around, make sure it's on high, and it's gonna come back and look like this. I'm gonna go ahead and drain this grease so it can brown up a little better. All right, so now that it's starting to cook up and brown up a little bit, so some of the pieces that may be bigger, you can just chop those down just to make it a little bit more smaller and enjoyable bite-sized pieces. That's what we're doing right now. So let's go ahead and start to season this pork up. Look at this. Daddy just bought this roasted garlic base. Y'all know we use these all the time for our like chicken and beef base. So this is a roasted garlic. We're about to see how this tastes right now. Mmm, smells delicious. Go in with the powder. Good little tablespoon of that. Mix it around. Okay, just like that. Gonna add a little touch of paprika. What else? What else? Here goes some onion powder. Okay, okay. And just go ahead and just mix this around first. See how that's looking nice and incorporated. Oh yeah. Okay. Exactly what we want to see. And then we're gonna add some regular salt to this. Just a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and put these peppers back. Y'all see what we're going? Okay. Add those peppers back in there. Give them a nice little toast and whoop, okay. And I'm gonna add some of this holy smoke, this pork and meat rub. And it's gonna be good for right now. Make sure you go ahead and taste it. See if you need to add anything, but don't over salt it because we still gotta add our cheese as well, okay? So this is some mozzarella cheese. We're gonna go ahead and add this right into the pan. And this is gonna make it nice and cheesy and delicious. Ooh. All right, 
I'm gonna add another one of these little small bags of mozzarella cheese. We just, you know, kind of broke it down so that way we didn't have to open up that whole bag of cheese and it go to waste. Well, not go to waste, but it's just better for meal prep. All right, because you want these egg rolls to be nice and cheesy. Let me bring y'all a little closer so you can see. You see the little cheese pour right there? Oh, yeah, it's coming together, y'all. We're about to go ahead and get these in the egg rolls and get them fried up. But that's all you got to do for the filling. Just that easy. Can I taste some of that? Hold on, and it is delicious. Can I taste it? Hold on, hold on. Y'all, it tastes just like a dang old Philly cheese steak without the bun, without the bread. But don't worry, because we about to go ahead and put this right in the egg wrapper and i'm taking it out the the pan so it won't keep cooking on the stove so we're going to use this as our dish to prep our egg rolls Mom, can I take some? Hold on. now you see how your filling is nice and thick it's not runny it's the perfect consistency to go in the egg rolls it's nice and cheesy and peppery and oniony and Let's go ahead and get this together, y'all. All right? Mom, so, hold on, Kate. You are going to need an egg. And why are you making, a, why are you making the eggs with it? Huh? Because we got to seal the egg roll on the outside. Hold on. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and put her some in this bowl right here so she can go sit down so I can fix the rest of the food. Go ahead and grab your fork right there. Where? Oh. Right there. And just take your egg and just beat it up. <laughs> This gonna be for the outside edges of your egg roll wrappers to make sure they stick together and it's not gonna have all the filling coming out once you put it in the grease. So now we are ready to go ahead and get these egg rolls nice and done. Now the key to a good crispy egg roll is you wanna use two of these at a time instead of just one. So that way you got that nice little crunch on it. So we gonna do two. But let me show you how we're going to do it, though, first. And we just showed y'all how to make egg rolls a couple of times on this channel. So hopefully, hopefully, y'all have been, you know, just going through our videos and just coming across something that you may like. Our soul food egg rolls, which are a hit. And then, of course, you know, the video that we're making today. The Philly cheese egg rolls. We actually got a video right now up making some Philly cheese egg rolls straight from the grinder with the actual steak meat and some chicken Philly cheese egg rolls. So make sure y'all go ahead and check those out as well. All right, so I took two out the pack. This is the second one. We're going to go ahead and put that to the side just for a quick second. Okay, now what you're going to do is use your finger. Now you got to be able to touch your food with your fingers, y'all, okay? That's all about cooking. Now, if you want to get fancy and use a little spoon or a brush, go ahead. But why do all of that? You don't have to. So we're going to go ahead and take some of that filling. We just bought these little soup spoons. They are so cute. And this is like the perfect size. So we're going to take one good scoop of the, you know, the filling. You're going to put it right in the middle, right there, just like that. While you're doing this step, make sure you go ahead and start prepping your oil. So first, you're going to tuck in the edges. So once you got it like that, then you're going to take it. Make sure it's nice and tucked in on the sides. If you need to add a little bit more egg, you can add a little bit more egg. Okay. Now, the main thing is as you rolling it, tuck it and bring it to you. Well, tuck it and bring it away from you. Okay. Now, the other reason why I say you can do two egg roll wrappers is because the first one, you know, it may break up a little bit, but that's fine. This is not the presentation one. This one is. And it's also going to serve as the crunch. So, make sure y'all double, double layer these. Why are you putting some more um of that stuff on? Because that's going to help. It stick? Yeah. So it's not going to stick to you need to cook that. Hmm? It's not going to stick to you need to cook that. Oh, it that. actually says mayonnaise. 
Get down, get down. Yeah, I know. All right. Now, as you're rolling it towards you, y'all, just make sure all the little nips and tucks is, you know, nice and tucked in. And make sure you get all around the edges. And I just like to seal it right around. Make sure it doesn't come up. But you still got the little piece right there. I know. You know, the first one is always going to be the, mm, the one. But as you keep rolling them, you're going to get into your rhythm and it's going to look a lot better. So let's go ahead and keep this going. I'm going to go ahead and get the grease ready and we're going to show you how they turn out. All right, y'all. So we got the first batch of egg rolls that's about to go into the grease. Look how pretty these look. This is the first one that we did. <laughs> I told you, it's going to get better over time. Now, look at these. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And that's exactly what you want. Sealed, no cracks. They nice and sealed, no cracks. So, now we're going to go ahead and put them in the grease. I'm going to probably put like two in there at a time. Probably gonna have to take some of that out because that grease like it's a lot in there. You gonna know they're almost done because they're gonna start floating to the top and they're gonna get nice and golden brown. So we're gonna go ahead and get this video done because the kids have already been into the filling mix trying to eat that by itself. But they can't eat it all because we still got to make all these damn egg rolls. As soon as it look like that, nice and golden, all the way around, you can go ahead and take it out the grease. So I'm going to have Daddy come out here so he can bust it open. And then he can tell y'all what sauce to eat with these because... He the sauce king, so he gonna know what sauce to eat with these egg rolls. Let me go get them for y'all. These are Philly cheesesteak pork egg rolls. All right. Y'all see that? Mmm. Look good, right? Mm-hmm. Now, we're gonna give them a try to see what kind of sauce we're gonna eat with them. Yes. what kind of sauce we got what we looking like what we looking like and i ain't gonna lie y'all halfway through making these egg rolls i end up grabbing the the little brush to rub it on in so it's okay i'm gonna have to go with some zesty ranch zesty ranch okay it's giving me cheesy vibes because mm -hmm, it's silly cheese so either regular or spicy white queso Look, these sauces came in handy because yeah, we just got just these from the store today. I told y'all, he was the perfect person to come out here with all these dang one sauces. So what it tastes like, though? The it's actually roll. really good. It, <laughs> it tastes like a pork egg roll. <laughs> like, I don't even know how to describe that. Like, it just... Because you don't really eat pork in egg rolls. Uh-huh. It just tastes like a... I don't know, like a pork wrap. <laughs> With some cheese. Yeah, it tastes like a pork wrap. With the peppers. Does it compare to a Philly cheesesteak egg roll? Yeah, it tastes pretty good. It's just like you just replace the beef with pork. Mm -hmm. Let's try it with a little bit of the spicy queso. Oh, yeah. But just as I suspected, it gave me that cheesy, creamy flavor. With pork, mm. you'd be wanting that sweet element. Like some sweet chili sauce or mm -hmm. something? Something like that. And yeah, we don't really have that much. So next, let's try it with the zesty ranch. The ranch. And look, we made these on a whim, y'all, so we didn't really get a particular sauce from the store to go with. To go yeah, with we these. didn't.
Mm. <laughs> you still need that sweet. You still need that sweet sauce. Sweet I got egg. a sauce for it. Let me try something else. Okay. All right, so to add that sweet element, we are gonna go with this. That Chick-fil-A sauce. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try it with the Chick-fil-A sauce, y'all. Look, I said honey mustard. He said no, Chick-fil-A sauce. It's Chick-fil-A sauce. It just tastes like honey mustard to me. Okay, okay. Looking like the, the curry out egg rolls with the, the spicy mustard on top. Mm -hmm. Hold on, okay, gotta get some for hers too. Mm. How did it taste? That's better? Yeah. Yeah, because it still keeps the creamy element, but it also gives you that sweet factor. Now, if I wanted to get real fancy, I had to pull out some of this, but we, we ain't doing none of that for today. <laughs> I told y'all this is the sauce king. He just restocked on all the well, sauces today. Well, we could have did this, but we, we, we ain't that doing none of that today. would have been good, though. I know, but we ain't doing none of that today. We ain't doing none of that. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I really <laughs> want to get into yeah. this balsamic. I knew, I knew it was coming. And look at this. We still got a whole lot of filling oh. left to do, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I got you, I got you. The family ready to eat, y'all, so... All right, this is the honey balsamic. Ate that one real fast. Mm -hmm. okay. That's like another level right there. So what's that? You want a bit gourmet with it? That's there the, you go. That's the honey balsamic. Mm -hmm. That's the winner winner right there. Chicken dinner. All right. Yeah. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. We're gonna see y'all in the next one. Don't forget to check out the clips channel too. Now for the rest of these, I'm only going to use just one because I'm not going to have enough filling, you know, to double them. And then Daddy said he actually preferred them with just the single wrappers. So we're going to go ahead and finish these up just like this.